Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Vegas. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. How are we doing today? How are we doing tonight? Wherever you are in this great big world, I hope you're doing all right. If you're in the cold states of America, I hope you're safe and warm. If you're in the warm states, I hope a big old bird takes a big old shit on you. <laughs> you lucky bastards. <laughs> but I'm joking. Not really, but... Uh, today's video is on a few things that kind of clicked with me in a story that I read. And before I get into that, I just wanted to put some disclaimers. One, you do not have to be a devotee to a Reshkigal. I mean, you don't have to. It, I think it'll click with you regardless. I mean, if you are, I'm sure it helps a little bit more, but, um, but you don't have to be. Two, there is some slight variations of this story, as with all Mesopotamian myths. And the one that I'm linking in the description is different from where I read it. Just ever so slightly, so keep that in mind. And most importantly, if topics of incest uh, bothers you, please to remove the human concept out of the story. Uh, do not look at this in the terms of human uh, structure. Even though we are children of these gods, in my opinion, we are them, and they are us. They are on a different spectrum than we are. So, do not look at it in terms of human structure and concepts. It's like... I would say, do not look at them in terms of good and evil. Take the human concept away. So, two weeks ago, I was reading a friend's book. And he had the excerpt from one of the big books of myths of Mesopotamia. Called Ereshkigal's Choice. Now the title will change because it's different from the one that's in the description. I was reading it and I absolutely loved it, not just because I'm a devotee to Ereshkigal, but some of the lessons in the story itself kind of clicked with me. Which, by the way, I'm not going to read it. I want you to click the link. I want you to read it. And I want you to form your own opinions and your own thoughts. And see what clicks with you. Reading is fundamental. So... I read his excerpt, then I look it up, and I 
find the one that's in the description, and I read that one too. Other than a few slight variations here and there. Because, you know, that's the same with all the mythology of Babylon and Mesopotamia. I still took away the same thing from his book. And two things that strike with me. Now, in the story, it follows young Inky, Enlil, and Ereshkigal. Enlil is kind of like overseeing the land. Inky is just playing around. And Ereshkigal likes to swim. Which, by the way, if you are a Scorpio, or you know a Scorpio, this mythology totally clicks with Rishkigal being a Scorpio. I'm just saying. She has a, a lot of Scorpio traits. Fight me. You're going to lose. I will die on this hill that she's a Scorpio. And Inky is like a Reshkigal. You keep going under the water for long periods of time. And she's like, well, I have a quest to explore the unknown. To see what is beyond. And to find the people of Kerr. Their cousins that are um, not pleasant to look at. I'll just say that. In her quest to meet them, to see where they dwell. And then they, all three of them, get into a philosophical uh, conversation. And then one day, a rush girl just goes for it. She goes deep diving and then um, the way to describe it is like a like an underwater cave. If that makes sense, you know what I'm talking about? Where it's like completely underwater but yet there's like an air pocket. If you study the Mesopotamian underworld, uh, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm putting it into modern terms. Like in uh, some movies where you see they deep dive and they go into a, an underwater cave that has like an air pocket. And she meets the people of Kerr. Their cousins, like I said. And one says, you do not fear us. Why? And this is what clicks with me. Especially if you... If you have body image issues. Which I do, surprisingly. Um... I'm not going to go into that, but if you have body image issues or uh, you're trying to find someone that gets you, but you also want them to be like supermodel pretty, you know, the superficial bullshit. She drops this truth saying that appearances don't count, just essence. Meaning, you can be ugly as sin. It is what makes you you that is more appealing.
appealing. Your personality, your mannerisms, you know, your soul, if any of that makes sense. She's basically saying, you know, your appearance doesn't mean shit. It's what makes you you that matters. And that that does make me feel a little bit better, to be honest with you. And she has said that in Gnosis with me before. So it's called Synchronicity. And then she uh, gets into a little bit more of a conversation with the people of Kerr about exploring the unknown land that they are in. Basically saying, let us go together and explore. What I will be from now on, I must discover. And that's where I'm going to stop, because I want you to read it. Basically, you get the general idea of it. It was her choice to become what she is now. And that clicks with me. You know, if you feel like You're lost in life. You don't have any direction. That you're meant for something. You know, it's okay. You just gotta take that journey. To find it. I'm I'm 30 years in. You know. 30 years in. I mean, I'm 39, but 30 years, you know, in addition to that nine, trying to figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do with my life. But, uh, but it takes time, and you gotta take the journey to discover what you're meant for. Me, personally. I want to know that I mattered to people. That, you know. That I made somebody's life better. I wanted to mean something that I existed. At least in the human concept. But take what you will from the story. And come back here and uh, let me know what you took away. What clicks with you. 
And with that, I want to say thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. If you have any other questions, comments, and concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. If you want to come find me, my links are in the description, along with the link to the story. And with that, I love you all. Cool Runnings, Irie Heights.